Now, where was our... Hey, what happened to it? Well, a minute ago, we had sunshine out there. Okay. And also, about half an hour ago, we had a couple of dandelions in the front yard. And the dandelion lady came by and picked them. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, let's try not to talk about the weather all day today. Although, I, I got to talk about my COVID shot here. Uh, s several of the viewers commented on the COVID shot, and uh, one of them was talking about uh, maybe I'll have pain with it afterwards or something to that effect. Well, you know, when I woke up this morning, I right away I started thinking about it. And uh, so as I sat up, I thought I felt funny, but you know... Uh, <laughs> I just feel fine right now. Um, uh, I it, it hurts if I push on the place where they did the actual uh, puncture, <laughs> but it doesn't hurt bad. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, I think everything's going to go fine here. It's almost 24 hours ago that I had it. Um, anyway, let, let's get on here uh, very carefully. Uh, I've got to remember now. I just can't grab hold of this thing. And uh, one of the viewers was mentioning that he thought that possibly when I was messing around here with this one rail in the back that you can't see, I broke this one loose. And looking at it now, it is kind of leaning towards us here. So let's, let's try and reinforce that first. Okay, here's the little railing in question. Maybe we should put on the macro lens. Okay, I don't have any CA on my applicator yet, but I do have the smell of pizza on my breath. Um, now, I, I don't think it has actually broken loose here. I think it sort of got, it sort of got bent over. I don't know if reinforcing it is okay now I'm putting some uh, CA on I don't know if reinforcing it here is a good idea or not Let's see if I can just drop some down there by that post and uh, maybe the other one Okay, we'll just have to try not to uh, be bumping it now. Okay, now the sun is out, but the reason I'm taking this shot is for you camera buffs, just in case you're interested. This is also the macro lens. It'll focus on infinity as well as up close. Okay, the one that got bent is uh, Photo Edge A13. Okay. It was actually worse than that. I sort of pulled it back there. I haven't looked at it now for about a week or two or two since I actually had the accident. I'll put the macro lens back on here. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it stuck on the double-sided tape the way it is and uh, try and pull it in the opposite direction to the, to the way I think it got squashed here and uh, I'm going to just use my uh, holder downer here now I think what happened is it got pushed down right there so it's possible to hook in there and pull it the other way maybe the holder downer is not the best way maybe Mr. T's uh, poking device will poke it into the right way here you know I think I think if I move this one up, it's 
it's going to be almost back to the way it's supposed to be here. Um, no, sorry about my big finger. Uh, yeah, that's. Let's just look at the monitor here. Well, I think the thing to do now is just place it on the deck and see which way it has to go. Now, the manual is just simply not clear, as far as I'm concerned. I can see now how, how this is supposed to go, and if you remember when we did make these uh, two, three weeks ago, I had made them mirror image to what they were supposed to be, but then I had concluded that Rather than try and bend them around the other way, uh, I think a second time, uh, I could get them to to work on on the uh, where where it's supposed to go. In other words, you you're supposed to be able to go from from right here to right here, and uh, uh, see, I got to try and pry this off without making it worse than I already did here. Okay, this is only being adhered down in a couple of places really this this bottom rail right here which I'm trying to slowly bend up that uh, double-sided tape is just way too strong for this okay it's, it's loose and then there's this other little corner over here Okay, I think we've basically got it here now. Yes. Okay. I don't know if I dare try and clean it up. Let's uh, try and position it on the deck and see. Okay, yeah, you can see how it's supposed to go there after it's straightened out. Um, okay, I'm just sort of visualizing here how this is supposed to be bent. I, al I almost feel like not bothering with these, but you know what? I'm going to try and straighten this off camera. Okay, there's a little dark mark there on the uh, cloth, and if I keep this right over that, it should be in the monitor. Just let me check. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, you should have known that I'd probably try and figure out a way I could show this being done on camera, right? Okay, now, whoops. I'm just going to try and get it locked in place there. Like that. Okay, now you can see how this, this railing that runs to the left there is, is skew, sort of askew. It should be up. And, uh, uh, where's uh, Mr. T's poking device? Be prepared, Ron. That's the Boy Scout's motto. Well, I'm not a Boy Scout. Okay, now if I, if I push like this. Right, I think we've more or less got it. I think so. Um, maybe it could go back like that. Okay, let's uh, put it on the, you know what, I think maybe this one here that I'm touching right now, this little short rail, might be skewed the other way. Let's see if I was to just grab hold of this like that and then push down 
there. I'll straighten it out. Oh, look! Metal fatigue. Metal fatigue. Oh. Now, how am I going to glue that in place? Okay, let, let's see what we can do. Let's, let's get our module. Maybe if we were to glue this post up against this bulkhead or a splinter guard, then it's actually it's, it's almost about as good as I can get it. Almost, it should come back out just a, a smidgen, and it's hard to move. Um, all right, I think I'm going to set up my uh, holder downer here so it holds now, and then uh, then we'll try and get a little bit of glue, and maybe yeah, we'll try and get get a little bit of glue. You know what? Maybe the holder downer will work like this. Let's see if I can get it to go here. Nope, wants to go the wrong way. I might have to bend the needle. Okay, there we go. Now the center of gravity changes on that doll. It's not going to want to roll. Okay, like that. Okay, let go. Yep, Winnipeg has dogs. Okay. That's not really too good, is it? The uh, the post that is against the splinter guard is kind of leaning the wrong way. Let's see if I can very carefully lift this off again and maybe pull it back. Like that. Okay, now, now if I could shove that that post in. Like I know the rest of it is crooked, but we can straighten it out afterwards. Oh my, thunder. I better go close my windows. Yeah, Winnipeg is thunder too. Just trying to get it get it in there. Um yeah, it's not not the way I want it. I'm gonna, you know what? <clears throat> Excuse me. I think I'm gonna take it off, and I'm gonna try and rescue that short fence. It's it's just uh, skewed the wrong way. Okay, I think this is gonna fit better. But the the uh, railing that goes down that has the treads stair treads hooked onto it is just getting so fragile that it's just about ready to let go. I think there were two connections and now there's only one. And what I had tried to do was remove some of the gum off of the bottom rail that I'm almost touching right now, but I don't want to touch it because there is still gum there and it will stick to my tweezer. All right, now let's see if we can get the holder downer just to put a little tension on it here. Just, just a little bit. Just a little bit. There. OK. 
Okay. Now. Oh, I bumped it with my finger. I can't believe I did that. Oh, come on, run. That's the trouble when you're wearing your magnification hood. You, you lose your peripheral vision because I gotta try and pull that back somehow. You know, I, I do not envy Steve in the model shed when he's got so much of this uh, photo etch and his Pontos detailing kit that he's working with there and he's made all these little tiny delicate things. Oh, look at that. See, now it's stuck on there, aren't they? This is supposed to be fun, Ron. Okay, I'm having fun, right? Okay, I'm gonna give this one more try here. Now the reason I've gotta hold it down is because if I don't, the railing is gonna to stick to the uh, glue applicator. Why did that happen? You know, maybe the thing to do is to leave the applicator on. And then try and push this back about one millimeter or less without breaking any of the other little pieces. Now, you, see, you can see I want this post, there's, there's almost like a little groove that that post can go into, molded into the plastic. This just doesn't want to go. It's probably because the bottom rail has, has, uh, has uh, sticky stuff on it from the tape. We're almost there, almost there. Now if I could just get that post back. It's kind of pivoting on the on the glue. It's okay. Let's let's get our glue on there now. Don't bump it this time. It moved a little bit, but not, it actually moved a little bit in a better direction, I think. Okay, we'll let that cure, then we can pull this post back. Now I can just see where I made a mistake here, and I didn't realize that that whole thing, I was looking sort of straight down on it. There. That's somewhat better. Yeah, I, I didn't realize I was gluing it in the wrong place. Guess I should have been looking in the monitor more often because it was very... Okay, now, what happened there was something that very, very seldom happens to me. And that is the battery ran down and the camera shut off. Now, I took out a minute or two and I just continued on and I've got the rail glued down, not real well, but at arm's length it's going to look okay. Now, this uh, 
rail this this handrail that goes down to the treads is is only being held just by uh, not even a thread there's supposed to be two threads but right now one is is broken off and i'm going to just try and very carefully move this to where it is supposed to go and the idea being that once it's there then i will put some glue up between this this post and the post that the railing is hooked onto if you know what i mean now this may not work it is just almost falling off it is just so there let me check the monitor okay now put some some CA on there glue those two little posts together Okay, let's, uh, did I get it? Yeah, I think it, I think those two posts are going to kind of glue together. It should actually, looking in at an angle here, let's get the fluffy off of my blade. Okay, now you know those stair treads are almost exactly where they're supposed to be. Let's come in and just kind of see if we can fasten this, uh, this stringer down to the deck on this side here. You probably can't see it. Okay, let's let that cure. Now we have been looking at this extremely close and we have been seeing every little flaw, every little detail, uh, you know, where the glue went in the wrong place and, but you know, when we're looking at it back at arm's length or even a lot closer, it's, it's not looking too bad. But the time has really gotten away on me today. I spent a lot of time all hunkered over this little thing and much more time than I thought. In fact, there's a good chance that today's episode is going to be uploaded late. It's after 3 o'clock already, and I'm going to have to say thanks for watching. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>